welcome back to another edition of Christopher's Kitchen. So many of you are getting those recipes off the website. We got one more we can add to your collection today. We're talking about bruschetta. Bruschetta, another light summer dish. People sitting out by the pool. Um, you can have it as a main course or an appetizer. It's really light and refreshing. Today I have fresh Roma tomatoes and I've got some, uh, some yellow tomatoes also. So I'm going to do a mixture of, of those. I'm going to do a little bit of a just a little bit of fresh garlic in there too, not a lot, because our bread that we're going to grill is going to have a little bit of garlic on there. Got some fresh mozzarella here. Nice fresh mozzarella. You can find this in almost any grocery store now. Of course, Rafino Meats uh, carries that. That's where we get ours. You can buy it in a big tub or individuals. Just going to dice that up, just about the same size as the tomato. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fresh basil. Well, a lot of fresh basil because I like fresh basil. And we can do our little chiffonade here again. We like to do, take our large leaves, pile them up together, and just roll them up. Cut nice ribbons. I might just throw in a few uh, black olives today too, just for a little bit of color. A little bit of a, uh, a little bit of kosher salt or sea salt would be great. That mozzarella and tomatoes definitely need help. Some fresh ground black pepper. I like fresh pepper. So we'll put a lot. And then of course, great uh, extra virgin olive oil. All right, now we're just tossing this around. We've got our tomatoes, yellow and red, fresh basil. And now let's, uh, this is what you want to do first. And then we can go uh, grill our bread. I always use a, a serrated knife because I like it to be a little bit rough. We're going to throw these right on the grill today too, so um, I'm going to keep the bread about a half an inch thick because you want it um, thin enough to cut with a fork and a knife, but not so thin that it, uh, it dries the bread out. Now what I've got here is a really nice hot grill. This is key. You don't really want to, you want to burn the bread just a little bit, but you don't want to uh, overdo it. I want to get nice markings on this also. So. Right on the hottest part of the grill, we're just going to let that start toasting right there. We'll do a nice crisscross pattern there on those. Going to turn these over. Oh, nice and toasty. We want it just a little bit soft in the middle, yeah? So we don't want to overdo it, but when this bread is toasted, it acts like a grater. So we just want to take a clove of garlic, see how that's chewing that garlic, and just run it across the bread just like that. And that, that garlic stays right in the bread. It's just enough to give it some flavor. Do you want to do too much because it really is strong? Go ahead and smell that, Mike. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <coughs> All right. And uh, we want to do a little salt and pepper on these, too. Now, I've got our bruschetta here. This would be for a main course. I've got a little, um, I've got our bruschetta mix. See that juice at the bottom? That's got tomato and salt and pepper and, and olive oil. And that's just going to be really our, our dressing here. A little bit more olive oil. We've got our seasoned bread there. And you just want to get all that good stuff and just right over the bread, just like this. All right, Mike, so let's give this a little, little taste here. the proper way to eat into this. Well, just a fork and a knife and um, just get after it that way. I'm going to see if I can get you a good bite here. That's kind of a big bite, but. That's all right. I got some people say I got a big mouth. Hey, man. So you can let that uh, you can let the tomatoes and mozzarella and things like that marinate a little bit also. Uh, You're right. For there is nothing to match the taste of fresh mozzarella. It's just it's just perfect. So don't buy it grated out of a package. You need to buy it fresh like Christopher That's it. Uh, Christopher suggested. Don't forget the name of the recipe is bruschetta. Look for it on the website. Just go to kbtx.com, click on the featured links, and then you'll see all of the recipes there on a Christopher's Kitchen. And uh, we have those for you to download. You can try them at home. And certainly we hope that you will uh, decide to join us next time as we give you yet another creative recipe on the next edition of Christopher's Kitchen.